good morning and once again welcome to my youtube channel math with is and in this video i want to explain a question in shape and space 7 in example 10 and the question is talking about calculate the volume and the surface area of the prism shown the volume of this figure and its surface area first of all i would want to address the volume because it's the easiest thing to do because we know the volume of any prism is the area of the cross-sectional face uh, the cross-sectional face of this prism is this triangular face because it is the shape that it maintains until the end if you keep cutting this figure along this line you will find the same shape until the end no other face will maintain the shape and also the size but the cross-section of face is the one that also has um, the height uh, uh, connecting it at 90 degrees because this is 90 degrees so we are saying that um, the um, cross-section of face is the triangular face as we have elaborated so the area of that cross-section of phase times the perpendicular height which is 20 will definitely give us the volume and there we go so the area of this triangle is a half times the base which is 8 times 5 of course you multiply by the height 20 uh, this is equals to by 2 1 and uh, by 2 10 this is 8 times 5 which is 40 40 times 10 is actually 400 centimeter cubed that is the volume half time oh, the, the height is the height is not 5 it's 15 for that matter 15 please let us make that correction so we are having the volume to be equals to you can see this is 15 is not 5 uh, you can have um, um, 8 times 15 uh, 8 times 15 times 10 which is 1200 uh, sorry for that the volume is 1200 centimeter cubed there we go the second part of this question is asking us to calculate the surface area of the figure and the best thing to calculate uh, to do when you want to calculate the surface area of any figure or any prism is to undo the figure and draw its net and I would want to start with the base which is uh, 8 centimeters by 20 let me have that base there this is 8 the shape or the face that is sitting down this 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 face 8 times 20 that this is 8 and this is 20 centimeters upon that there is this face you can see this face you can see and that face is 17 times 20 so you have 17 times 20 there you go and behind that there is now this face which is having 15 times 20 there is that face which you can see this face all the way or the which is behind there and it is here 15 by 20 and within this this is uh, uh, this is 15 and this is 20 and then there is this triangle which is forming a flap here there is this triangle this side and there's the other one on this other side those two triangles are equal this is 8 and the height of the triangle is 15 and this is 17 as you can see so this is 17 because this one is actually this face and we can already see this is 15 and this is 17 and this is 8 so um, we need now to calculate the area uh, of all these faces and you start by face A and then face B times 2 of course um, uh, yes face b and let's let's just call it face c face d and face e the face of a is as you can see the area of face a 
is 15 times 20, which is 300. Phase B, and there are two, is actually a half times 8 times 15 times 2, so that we add, uh, we bring on the surface area of B and C. So by 2, 1, by 2, 1, and we have uh, 8 times 15, which is 120. 8 times 15 is 120. This is 120, both of the triangles. And then phase D, phase D, uh, let's, let's now calculate phase D. And let's see, as equals to 8 times 20, 8 times 20, which is 160. And finally, we have phase E, which is um, 17 times 20, which is 340. All these are centimeter square, centimeter square, centimeter square, centimeter square. So the total surface area of the prism happens to be the sum of all that. And we're going to have it like um, um, 340 plus 160 plus 120 plus 300 and there you go you have 920 centimeters squared so the surface area of the whole figure is now the sum of all that which is 920 centimeter squared and that is it thank you and uh, meet you later in a different question. Thank you.